guys welcome back to today's video so this is my life table and I wanted to show you guys because somebody died and no, I'm not that Sylvia made this jump and it's adorable I absolutely love it I think you should paint those things like oh, and hunter green you can put them like this is a high oh, setting oh that's so cool and medium setting yeah I want uh, one of our horses to have a baby I just think that's so exciting and yeah yeah, that's so cool, Sophie. Uh, this is Sophie's setup. Oh. She's got some stalls here, and she's got four stalls in here, and they almost oh, all have babies. That, that is Toronto. Is that a is that a, and this a boy? Is Levi. Levi. Toronto's a girl. Oh. Levi's a boy. Oh, and then she's got pigs over here, and with little baby goats. Like I love Schlag. It's the best thing. And then she's got somebody in the wash stall, and she's got a girl riding. Oh, if you guys have this horse. And you like you make your riders jump like on the horses and stuff. Use this horse because it's the best. Somebody sent us that, did they? I think. Yeah, I remember. So. Because look, it looks like they're jumping over the jump. Yeah, that's so super cool. She's but, supposed to be on. Yeah, and you should back it up a bit so it looks like more. Yeah, so cool. And then um, this one has a hard time balancing on this table, but. There. Super cool. I love it. I love Schleich. Amazing. Oh, this is Abigail. Abigail. On a horse. On a horse. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So, good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday and we're headed out uh, to do some yard sailing before Trillium prep. Tomorrow's Trillium. Yeah, tomorrow. Tonight we go to bed at like 8 o'clock. 8.30. And start our show day early in the morning. Rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Huh? It's supposed to rain. rain today instead. Yeah, I'd rather it rain today. More clouds are coming now. Look. The clouds are coming. Big black dark clouds are coming, you guys. I actually wanted to stay home today and show you guys some stuff. Like Sam bought something the other day, and I haven't even been able to show you guys. We keep putting it in the vlog, and then the vlogs are so long that I have to take it out. So today's the day we're gonna reveal that thing that Sam bought that he buys every year. And then I'm kind of excited about I just don't know how we're gonna use it or when we're gonna use it But anyways, I'm excited to show you guys. I'll show you guys when we get back But I wanted to stay home today And like clean the house a bit and work in my garden a bit and groom my horse again Like I don't show you guys every time I groom my horse But it is the most peaceful time I ever have in life like her and me we just feed off each other I just like feel so much love and acceptance and I feel like she's happy when I put her in the cross tie. She's like, oh, yes, it's the day we get to do this. Like, I think she enjoys it. She doesn't ever step out of bounds ever. Like, everything she does is, is amazing and sweet and wonderful. But anyways, we're going yard sailing because Sam dragged me away. He's like trying to talk me into it all morning. And so finally, uh, he convinced me by saying, well, I saw this yard sale. I saw this yard sale. So we're going to go yard sailing. And then... Uh, we had really bad news about uh, Chino's braiding today, so I'll share you guys share that with you guys later when we're at the barn doing the show prep. So, anyways, let's get on with the video. All right, first yard sale, and it's in a church. We always I love churchyard sales. Comment below if you guys go to yard sales. All right, we are in a in a weird churchyard sale. We, don't call it weird. Don't call it weird. It feels creepy though. There's a lot of stuff. That's adorable. Got so many things. I bought clothes for my grandkids, this beautiful dress for Brooklyn, some dishes. But the most important thing was that we got all these knitting needles and we got some cookbooks. We're gonna got, cook this fall. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make all this. Yeah, it's exciting. But I love these big knitting needles and the girls and I, yeah, we got, I collect angels. Did you guys know that? I collect angels. Oh, and I got a camera. Yeah, I don't even know what that camera looks like. <laughs> Sophie is a junk shopper. She will buy anything that she sees, even if she doesn't know. She wanted to buy a photo album. I'm yeah, like, because I'm gonna have photos. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that, but I, I don't know about that. We'll see. Huh, that was exhausting. It was fun though. I didn't want to go, and then Sam's like, "No, let's go." Like, yeah, I just a good year. buy silly stuff. Like, I bought this box. It's just a box, a gift Look at my box. Camera. And the box is going to be like my grandson's birthday is coming up. So I'll be able to put his presents in there if I buy something that will fit in there. So when I was young, I was obsessed with cameras. Obsessed. And so, you know, maybe Sophie's the one to be obsessed with cameras. We'll see. 
going. I'm so glad when. Is this a digital camera? What is this called? How do I turn it on? Not digital. No, the one I have. Oh, digital, yeah. I was so glad when everything went digital and you didn't have to deal with film anymore. But anyways, who knows? Maybe she'll be excited about it. Wait, how do I turn it on? It doesn't turn on. It doesn't. It's not like the camera I have. You have to put film in the back and you don't see the pictures when you take them. You have to take them and pay money yeah. every time to get it developed. Well, why don't you give me film? Well, you have to buy film. I don't even know if you can buy film anymore. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a really nice camera for Christmas. She's trying to decide what she wants for Christmas. Right, another another yard sale. When I was young, I used to tell the kids if we went yard sailing, if you bought something, you had to throw something away or get rid of something. Because like taking too much junk in your house is hard. Like our house is so it's small so and it, the stuff we need doesn't even fit, let alone junk. This is gonna be bad. It's a massive yard sale. Sophie's all about toys still. Got some Gabby ones, a doll. Yeah. Gabby's yeah, terrified of dolls. <laughs> so this was all of our haul. We got too much stuff. Come on, Macy. Yeah. Come on. You can come. Where are we going? Down to the barn. Come on. Come on, little baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody's all crazy. Whoa, we're surrounded by dogs. Macy doesn't usually like to come out and come this far. But she's doing it. She's following me. <laughs> All the dogs are like, what's she doing down here? <laughs> All right, show prep has begun. Wow, that's a good idea. Pulling that sucker right in there. Hi, Mace. Mace is down here. So we're getting the trailer already. Is that your jacket? Is that your show jacket? I don't know. I do not know who did that. It must have been dad. But we got lights in here. Tomorrow's supposed to pour rain. Macy's like, what is this place? Tomorrow's... Is that thunder? That's John with the trailer. He's winding it down. Oh. Aww. She loves her girl. Yeah. Daisy's the kind of dog that doesn't feel comfortable. As comfortable without somebody, without Sophie with her. Alright, come here. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Look here. Yeah, you can have one. You can have one. So Sophie got Daisy a bell. <laughs> so never lose her. Put all four of our dogs out. Abby's getting the trailer ready, getting it all set up. Then she's gonna pack the tack trunk, make sure we have everything we need, and then we're gonna head over to the barn. First, we're gonna put the horses in. It's not supposed to rain today, but it looks like it's gonna rain. It's really overcast at our house, and it'd be a lot better if it rained today than tomorrow. But. Fiona says for sure we're showing in the rain tomorrow and that Trillium doesn't get canceled because of rain. So yeah, pray you guys. Now I lost Macy. She doesn't come when she's doing something she likes. And this is why I don't like this little dog down here because she's not mindful of the horses and it wouldn't take much for some trouble to happen. Come on, Pam! You're getting carried now, little missus. Come on. <laughs> That's Alyssa's favorite dog. Hey, stay. Stay, Macy. It's okay. It's okay, good girl, yeah. There was a time that I carried this dog everywhere with me for years. You know for who years. taught it to walk on a leash? Who taught it to walk on a leash? Me, when I was two years old. Yeah. You wanna know how I did it? You dragged her until she started walking. I dragged it. Yeah, she was a baby was and a Macy was a baby. Child. No, she did it gently. I was watching her. But there was no letting anybody else train this now dog. She walks perfectly on a leash. Yep. She no. stops when you stop. She goes by yep. your side. Mm -hmm. Gabby trained this dog to do everything. My dog has All right. can't train dogs. My dog has so you have to show them. You have to go and make sure everything's in the tack trunk. No. Come on up. There Wait, we go. Mom, come here. I'd like to see Macy do that. <laughs> Molly can jump up to my face, I know. I'm watching. She found her own private spot and things. she's... Uh-oh. Go get Daisy. She's like, who? Go get Guys. Daisy. Go get Daisy. You're scaring everybody. So Sam is finishing packing the 
the tra the trailer and sure. Gabby's gonna check the tack trunk. My kids are at that age now where like they know everything they need for a show and they're pretty good about it. So Gabby's gonna check the tack trunk and Sophie and I are gonna show you guys what Sam bought the other day. So uh, you guys know that every year Sam buys another trailer or he tries to like a sleeping trailer. He likes to buy them, fix them up and then sell them and usually we use them in the summer but this summer has been all about shows and beaches. This is the summer of shows and beaches. So look over there. So over there is a double bed. That table goes into a bed. This bench seat, so it's got this really cute bench seat here, turns into a bed, and then there's this bed. This bed's mine. All right. No, I don't want to sit on it because I'm And then your dad will sleep here. Actually, your dad will sleep there. And then I'll sleep. Ow! The dog <laughs> put her nails in my knee. Look at it. Got like marks on me. So. <laughs> she jumps on my bed and knocks my phone over every time she greets me in the morning. Every time you greet her? And every time I wake up, I'm like, where's my phone today? There have been times when we've been camping with every dog that we have. Like, oh, if we never. Go camping, I'm bringing this one. Yeah. Yeah, if we go camping, we're bringing them all. We're bringing this one. Yeah, you're so and happy. I need to sleep with it for once. Come no. Come on up, Molly. Come on up. What? Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, there is no room in this trailer for four dogs. She doesn't want to be on the ground. She wants to be on the couch with us. So this is the one. This is the one that Sam bought this year. This is the one that he's going to fix up. It's got a fridge. It's got a heater. So we could even go like camping in October, which might be, Can end up being what happens. and put it in my room? No, but it has a really cute mini fridge. It's got a heater. It's got a heater. So this is it. This is the trailer. It's got like a dining area. It's got a stove here and cupboards. It's got dishes. Um, can it fix bug bites? You got a bug bite? Uh, it has a little carpet that goes outside, but you could use that for schleich. See that carpet? That's like grass carpet. I know people who buy that and use it for schleich. We had one. Yeah, but this one, that one's different. Daisy's in love with the trailer. Quick update on our chickens. They're all integrated into the flock and our fancy chickens which are uh what are they called again i forget what they're called our fancy chickens are looking fancier and fancier and super cute we have two gray chickens and two white chickens now i love all of them i love them all we're keeping them if i don't want to keep them this year like i hate taking care of animals in the winter it's really hard and i feel really bad for them being cold and i know that you can do it but it's hard for me to like know that my chickens are out here freezing we found a friend that is willing to board our chickens oh you pig board our chickens for the winter but look at how gorgeous they're looking sophie mm -hmm, aren't they cute looking. do you think they're cute yeah except for um snow white just had some poop yeah really cute though and they're babies still, like, and they're almost as big as our regular chickens. They're going to be massive. Can I show you my favorite one? Sure. I can already guess which one it is. Yeah. Woo! She's like, help, a human's got me. They're supposed to be the nicest chickens, so get being nice. <laughs> Don't put that in. <gasps> Don't put that in. This is so cute. She's like, I want to go with my friends. <laughs> Look, her head doesn't move, but her body does. I know, that's super cool. Not a horse in sight. It's nighttime and there's not a horse in sight. They're all out Contact. on the grass, which is annoying. How to tell which horse is Gabby's? Find Finn, who's easy to find, and then whichever horse is by, whatever bay is by, oh, he's running. He's running. He's leaving. He's like, not nah, again. He's like, no, Brandon. Look at how much taller he is. Never again. I never want a big horse again. Oh, he's the shortest I want in the tall horse. I know, but he's so big and it's hard to like, it's hard to ride in certain arenas. There's like so much problems with having a big horse. Run and see if Chief, if uh, Chino will come. It's almost supper time. Mm -hmm. Nope, not even. Oh, he's looking. Chino. Come on! Come here. He's thinking about it. He's like, nah. Alright, Gabby's going. 
So show prep has to be done at the end of the day. And that's what's annoying is that you have to do show prep at the end of the day so that the horse can go right in the stall after so his hair doesn't get messed up and so he doesn't get dirty and stuff. So that is annoying. Because we always go to bed like at 8.30 on show days and we still have to edit at night but we edit it already. And then we also have to um, like pack our lunches, get our outfits ready and stuff. So that's why, that's why shows are hard, you guys. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm just gonna show you like a montage of getting ready and then we're gonna see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. But we won't be in trouble. We're gonna be in trouble. It's gonna be pouring rain. Who am I kidding? Me riding for an extra video? Oh yeah, I'll put that in there. No, I'll just put in a little, Sophie's gonna ride. Are you riding bareback? No, mm. I think you should uh, put it on my channel. So Sophie's gonna do a little bit of riding and, and I'll do a little oh, montage. Hi, bud. Uh, wish us luck and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Is coaching Soph and she's going to get the poop too. What a miracle! I think that's because uh, her mom is braiding right now. Mom is braiding Chino. Yelling at Sophie, telling her what to do. There you go, good boy fan. Hands forward a bit more. Hands forward. There, good boy. So one of the ladies here let Sophie have a ride on her horse. Her horse is very slow, <laughs> totally different than Finn. And Sophie wants to paint now. She's like, I want my own paint. Yeah, I know. Your feet up. Look at the dust you're making. I love him. You drag your feet. <laughs> I know, that's the kind of horse for me. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?